Josh, first of all, great to be back in the picture uh, after the injury. It, it, it must have been sort of frustrating for you. Yeah, um, I think it came at a, it wasn't a great time. Um, I just felt like I was getting to full fitness um, and in the team. And sometimes that's how it does football. It kicks you when, when you get your best. So, yeah, it came at a bad time. But the, the physios here were brilliant with me and got me back quick, quick enough. As frustrating as it is, do, do, do you still sort of learn things on the sidelines, you know, particularly when you come to a, a new team as you have in, in Tranmere? Uh, yeah, um, obviously I had to do a lot of work in the gym and stuff and I, the games I missed were, were away, so I didn't really get to see see the games that much. I've seen Northampton, Northampton at home, um, but apart from that, I didn't really really see many of the games. So obviously going through through with the lads after the game and picking up pointers of, of what we needed to do better, and different things, so yeah, you do you do learn why 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 not why not in the team as well, yeah. Prior to the injury, how do you feel as though your game has been progressing because you, you you've done well for Tramir so far? Um, yeah, I feel like it was getting better game by game. Um, obviously, I came here to to play games, and um, I felt like with the games I was getting, I was getting fitter and um, getting more contributions as I was as I was getting fitter. Um, I felt like I was more involved in the games and. Um, like you say, the injury did come at it come at a bit of a bad time, but um, I wasn't out for too long, and hopefully I can just pick up where I left off. I mean, getting injuries for a footballer it, it's part of the gig, isn't it? But when you're you're out on loan uh, as well, it, it must be doubly frustrating. Um, yeah, because you come you come here to play games, and when you're not playing games, it's you're kind of a bit like, well, I was doing this anyway. I'm injured. Do you know what I mean? Um, and it's it is it is tough, um, but like you say, it wasn't too long, and hopefully, I can just keep playing and not get injured anymore. Haven't been part of things when the the results were going in the right direction, and you seem to have established a a really good rapport with the Tranmere fans as well. It's a it's a great club to be at, isn't it? And you can see the potential. Yeah, um, like you say, the, the, the club's massive. Um, and that was probably, like I've said before, it was one of the main reasons why why I wanted to come here. Um, obviously, when I was playing, the results were going well. Um, and that always helps. I think you get obviously you get the relationship with the fans, and um, but I think it's doubly important to stick with us. Obviously, at the moment, while it's not going well, because um, I think it can change. Like you say, you can soon you can soon go on that run of four or five wins, and your your back, your, your confidence is back in the team, and, and and like you say, you soon move you soon move up the table. Do you get that feeling that you're not that far away? The manager's told us it's, it's been a really good week in training and he's been trying to get his message across. It's small margins, isn't it, football? Yeah, it's such small margins. Um, I think it's taking the chances when we get the chances to score. Um, obviously, I don't think we're really doing that at the moment. Um, but like you say, it's, I think getting that first goal in the game is so important for us. Um, it allows us to obviously the game to open up a little bit, um, which I think helps us um, with the pace we have in the team. Um, so yeah, I think I think the, the goals will come. Um, we're still a new group learning together. I know obviously it's, it's getting on it's getting on in the season a bit now, as in not not from the start, but we're still learning together. And like you say, I think it'll I think it will pick up, and I think we will we'll start to score more goals. Is that efficiency that you need in the penalty area, that, that ruthlessness? It, it is a football thing, clearly, but but I think it's more down to, to, to the mental aspect on occasions, isn't it? Yeah, I think I think it's just that belief of, of wanting to score the goal. Um it, when it's not going in, you can you can kind of overcomplicate it. Um, but I think it's just that desire to to get on the end of things or when you're in the box, just to just to take that take that decision to to have a go, have a shot. Like you say, if you don't if you don't shoot, it doesn't it don't, don't go in. So, um, yeah, the more the more chances we can we can create and and have them chances and try and turn them into shots on goal um, and just try and be a bit more ruthless in in general, really. Uh, and final one for me that the, the managers made the point. We've said three successive league defeats. Clearly, he said to us, "Well, hang on." Uh, there's two cup victories in there as well, so it, it, it's not all doom and gloom. And, and you know, everybody has to realise that that you're not that far away. Yeah, um, like you said, there's, there's two cup 
two cup victories in there. And I think it's just unfortunate that the, the three defeats have, have came in the league. So it, it kind of it kind of makes it look a lot worse than if you'd and for example, if you'd lost two two league games and you'd won one and but you'd lost a cup game, you'd you'd be saying, Well, you've just won the last league game. It's 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 a it's, it's a tough one. Um but I think the form we've we showed previously that we can put a run of results together um boards well for us and I think that we can do that pretty soon. Brilliant Josh. That's it from me. Best of luck for the weekend. Thank you. Josh, uh, Mickey spoke about uh, possibility of making changes and and talking about people doing their jobs and and carrying out their instructions and doing it well. As a as a footballer yourself, do you, do, do you do you feel that responsibility? You know that, for example, just Trammy just didn't create enough chances on Saturday. Do you feel that responsibility and understand what's being asked of you? Um, yeah. Uh... It's a tough one, like you say. It's, it, you, you go out there, you you try to do your best to perform. Um, sometimes, sometimes it doesn't work. Um, but I think you've got to be brave enough to to tr- keep getting on the ball, keep trying things, um, even when it's not going well. Um, I think it's easy enough when it's going well to everyone just want the ball to to be able to create things. But when it when it's not going well, I think you've got to be that ex- be a bit extra brave and and get on the ball more and and try and create things. Yeah, and, and that's a good point, isn't it? Because you've had these three uh, consecutive league defeats interspersed with cup games. And one of those cup games was was with 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 a different side. So if if you if you've come into is it subconsciously can you drop into a habit of, of being more conservative or more cautious in a shape when things haven't been going quite as well or the going been has been a bit tougher? Um, I think I think it's natural. I think when you when you're losing games, you think. You try and think a lot of the negatives and and what you're doing wrong, but I think you've got to be that, like you say, that brave to get on the ball, want 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 to make things happen, and um, I think that's the only way you can kind of get out of that situation. Um, if you re- revert back to the, like you say, of being defensive, and you, you kind of want you kind of want to, when it's not going well, attack a bit more. If you understand what I'm saying, just to just to try and create more chances and and try and change things around. How different is football in League Two compared to what you've been used to uh, at Sunderland for the last twelve months? Um, obviously, it's a little bit different. Um, I'd say where I've came from the last twelve months was a lot of um, playing football and like, keeping the ball on the floor. I think you get a lot of teams in League Two that want to try and go back to front quite quickly um, with a lot of long balls. And but I think if you, if you can counteract that and use the the fact that we've got a lot of good footballers here, and I think if you if you keep the ball on the floor and we play good football, I think it can only help us in the long term with that. You scored a goal a few uh, probably a few more really because pl- players really have got to start chipping in all over the pitch, haven't they? Uh, the first bit got out there. I only had the last bit. What was the first bit? I, I was just talking about you scoring a good goal. What was the best bit? Really? The question, really. But, uh... <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I was just saying, you scored a good goal a few weeks ago and I'm sure you're keen to try and chip in with a few more, really, because that responsibility has got to be shared across the side, hasn't it? Yeah, definitely. Um, I think you've got to try and get goals from all over the pitch, really. Um, I think it's easy enough to say, look, there's a striker, you, you need to score goals, but it's it's chipping in from out wide, from midfield. Um, it's all, yeah, like you say, it's all, it's all over the pitch. You've got... You've got to you've got to share the responsibility of of, score, of scoring the goals, um, and hopefully hopefully I can I can do that. Um, I like to think that I could. So yeah. Uh, just in terms of your your parent club, how how often are uh, Sunderland checking in on you? What how does that work? Um, yeah, so we have like a a person who will check in quite regularly. Um, not so much recently because I've been injured, so I haven't really been. It's been more on myself to get, to get back fit and. But before obviously before I was injured, um, yeah, they check up regularly. The they're, they're asking how I'm getting on, if I'm enjoying it, what's what's happening. So yeah, they they're really good with that. And just personally, you're 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 a Stockton boy, Reid Stockton and Tees. Um, and obviously you're a young man. So uh, away from home, do you, how do you keep in touch uh, with, with your friends? Are, are, are your friends generally in football, or or, or is you you know your core group outside the game? Um, 
my core group um, would probably say that they're out of the game um, at home. Um, I keep in touch with them quite regularly. When I can get home, I go and see my family. Um, it's just trying to really find that opportunity to do it. It's the first time I've ever really been away from home. Um, I was at Hartlepool, which was close, and Sunderland's the same. So both of them clubs was was close. I was just travelling in from home, really. Um, and then moving away now, it's the first time I've really done that. So um, I like the challenge. I like the, the fact of moving away um, just to experience new things. Um, but like you say, when, when when I can get home or when when my when my family can come up here and my friends, um, they do try try and do it. So yeah, it's good. Quite a thriving little music scene in Stockton, I believe. Cuba around that. Does that interest you outside the game? No, no, that's, it's it's not for me. Um, my, my my friends like to go out now and again, but you don't really get the opportunity to. To be honest, you've got obviously you've got your Saturday games and. You, a lot of the time, you're Saturday, Tuesday. So the, the last thing you want to do is go. You're going out on a Saturday, and then you, you're playing catch up till the, till the Tuesday. So it's it's one of them where, like you say, you don't really get you don't really get the opportunity to. Obviously, the, the times where you can you can you can get out around birthdays and big occasions, you do try to get out to enjoy yourself. But um, I don't think a lot of the times you can't really you can't really get out to do it. And the times half the time you fi- you finish football and you, you just want to go to bed, you you're tired and yeah. Probably for the best. Yeah. <laughs> That's great. Cheers. Thanks, Josh. Uh, j- just one from me. Um, only one side in League Two has conceded more goals than Bristol Rovers this season. What what kind of uh, things does that kind of stat do as an attacking player? Um, I, I don't think you attack the game any different to what you would attack any other game, really. Um, obviously, they're on a good run of form, form at the moment. They, they didn't, I know they didn't start the season very well, but They've picked up of late. Um, they had a good result, good result midweek um, in, in the FA Cup. So, yeah, the the, the, the like you said, they've the conceded quite a lot of goals. But I think recently they've been attacking really well. Um, they've been scoring a lot of goals. So we've got to be we've got to be aware of that. Um, and, and like you say, I think if we can get our attacking side right, I think we have a we have a good chance of of getting a result there.